you think? Should I stretch and do some squats or something? Yeah, yeah, first? yeah. Stretch oh. for sure. I think I heard something crack. Uh, for real? I thought it I did. didn't even hear something crack. I thought uh, I did. I wouldn't be surprised. My shoulders are terrible. Well, you are 27 now. So. It's true, I am. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Hold on to that camera. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you better take a break. Uh, you know, I gotta. I think I gotta go sit down or something, man. I'll, that just killed me. Yeah. It's too much. I get it. It's wild. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, you scared me, Craig. Yeah. Come up out of nowhere, that thing. Alright, this is very, uh, very delicate technique here, so. <laughs> Try not to do this at home. Yeah. You don't want to get hurt. No, you really don't. You need a professional hand. But I guess practice makes perfect. It's very meticulous when you put these on the belt. I'm an artiste, you know, I mean, it takes work to be perfect, but somebody's got to do it. Max 2020. Yeah, it's great. I'm so used to my camera, but I'm using Dylan's camera right now. Uh, are they different? Well, just like the settings are different, because usually oh. I can touch things, like if something's out of focus, I can touch it on mine. I'm getting focused, but not on this one, apparently. Oh. Hmm. Is it about to stop or something? Yeah, we're not sure what's going on. They, huh. They're closed right now, but they're going to call us in a couple oh, yeah. of weeks. Yeah, sorry, I know. I'm like, hmm. at this point, like, we shot so many videos that I'm like, oh, I don't have to explain anything because everybody knows. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I don't, if I don't separate them now, then uh, when the chocolate um, solidifies, uh, if you try and break them apart at that point, it can sometimes take the, the pretzel right off the shell. Yeah, yeah no. And so that's pressed. So yeah. Peanut butter goes stale. Don't people get less that. pretzel. Yeah, nobody wants that. I'm sorry, I made you think about that. I was probably yeah. a hard time going to sleep tonight and everything. Yeah. If you guys made peanut butter, nugget, Stop. pretzel, Stop. cluster. No. <laughs> it's just one nugget in every cup, like, yeah. stick it out. Uh, hmm. I wonder what we could, like, if we could, like, put, like, a little dollop of, like, peanut butter down. Crush up some pretzels on top or something. Yeah. A little bit of caramel. I'm sure we can do cover it in more chocolate. To. Yeah. Yeah. Two layers. And then dunk it in caramel. Well, well, no. Let's do it by hand so that we can do two tone. Yeah. And then. And then layer. cover it in fluff. Oh my god! I don't even <laughs> want to think about that. Did I tell you I tried to make? Um, uh, maybe it was either fluff cup or like s'mores truffles one time. Oh yeah. At home. And I thought that I could like take fluff and roll it into a oh. ball. <laughs> Did not work. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah, fluff. Fluff is tricky. That's why they call it fluff, right? Tricky and sticky. I mean, that's what I've heard. I don't, I don't want to put misinformation out there, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that that's why. We're all about accurate information here. Especially when it comes to fluff. I mean, yeah. You don't want to mislead people when it comes to no. partially melted marshmallows. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you bet. <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah. How much faster do you think it is doing these with the end rover instead of doing it by hand? Like at least ten times faster. <laughs> yeah. Like at least. I mean five. There's no way I would have gotten five done in a day. And you did five in how long? Forty-five minutes. Nice. <laughs> That's. So way longer than ten. Huh? No, that's wrong. Yeah, that'd be three. And now I'm like, well, Craig, you're really bad at math. Well, well yeah, <laughs> I know, I am. All right, deal with it. Yeah, 
You learned something new about me today. I'm not a math major. <laughs> a math man <laughs> on the run. I didn't go to math school. No? <laughs> no, man. Yeah. All right, speaking of math. All right, I got, I got five there, right? This was four of them. Okay, uh, but that's not enough information for you. These four, it's four trays on each one, right? Yeah. So it's 16 trays, four trays for each one. That last box was six. six. What the hell the hell's more than six? What the heck? Yeah, it's it's throwing me right off. I'm like, there's I don't know what's going on. I think there's some kind of conspiracy. They're, they're pretzel planners. <laughs> what are they Back planning? Again. Either we got extra or the other ones you got gypped. Yeah, oh, I didn't what think the about heck? it like that. But the weird thing is they're all filled up like right up to here, so yeah. <laughs> figure that out. We gotta get a bigger ladle for this, Steve. <laughs> Can we get a bigger ladle? This one's a ladle small. <laughs> is that in the budget, Dad? That one, well, that's the thing. It goes right from this size to the big, huge ones that we use in the chocolate. Oh, uh, yeah. You need a medium sized ladle. Mm. Goldilocks ladle. Yes. Not too big, not too small. Perfect. The what? Medium sized label on the internet. We just installed the internet on mom's computer, so. Is that that new yeah. thing? Yeah. Look it up on the internet. The interwebs. www. <laughs> www. Oh no, my turtles are running into each other. <laughs> How's that look? Well, they're about the right good. size. This hurts my arm after a while. Yeah, which arm? My left arm. Don't hold it up. Mm-hmm. Well, about seven years ago I was doing a little construction project at my house and I kind of detached my bicep mm, kind of yeah just a little all the way but um, it hurt but yeah so it's, it hasn't been quite the same ever since mm. Did you have to get surgery on it oh yeah yeah they had to reattach it Carrie just said bite down on this wooden spoon <laughs> I can do it <laughs> I got this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I went in the house and I was like, Carrie, i done it again. <laughs> my bicep's missing. It's all the way up to my shoulder. Like a roller shade. Yeah. And did she, it basically like roll up your arm though? Or? It totally did, yeah. Oh, yeah. It like went right, because it attaches on, you know, it goes through your two forearm bones and yeah. it attaches up here. Mm -hmm. and you can actually, I think you can see the scar right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. They had to reattach it. That felt good. But yeah. it just hasn't really been the same ever since, so. Mm -hmm. It gets a little bit tiring holding this. All right, well, you're a tough guy. You can soldier through. Do this. <laughs> Dad, are you a tough guy? Yeah, that happened to me too, but I just worked through it. Yeah. Just walked it up. <laughs> just Rub it up. some dirt on it. <laughs> Rub it out, throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you're catching up on uh, uh, vegan pretzels? Yeah, we're doing the vegan stuff now. You guys trying to knock it all out in one day so you don't have to do it again? Yeah, for if, a I while. Can, if I can do it today, maybe tomorrow. I've got uh, marshmallows to do, pretzels. And, and uh, Brad's position has changed recently, huh? Yeah, he's going to be doing uh, the vegan stuff. He's getting promoted from the chip guy to the vegan guy? Yeah, that's it. He's being promoted, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Max, you remember that episode of The Office where uh, Dwight asked Michael about who's higher up, him or Andy, or maybe it was him or uh, Jim, and he was like, well, which one of us gets paid more? He's like, it's, it's not a matter of more or less, it's just different. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yeah. I remember that episode. Like, they get paid different, but it's not a matter of more or less. <laughs> it's like, well, what? <laughs> it is to be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Get away with words, I might call. Oh, that's real funny. My goal? <laughs> <laughs> Guess. Mm, the chalk I just put on there, 95. What do you think the whole puddle is? Uh, 92. A little lower. 90. A little lower. 89. 81. If you can see it on here or not. It is? It's 82.2. Well, that's because you're way up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because you got the gun too far away. Mm -hmm. It says 88 is in the. In the bucket. It's lying. The chocolate bucket. It's not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Machines often do want to deceive you. It's it's not. It's it's eighty three. Wow. Look at that. It's ready to go though. Mm -hmm. I use it right away. Yeah, no lollygagging. Yep. Got to get things done. You've already done. Work, work, work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you've done ten trays so far. See, I am a math. I am a math ladies. <laughs> That's your thirteenth tray. Yeah. See. Mhm. Mm I'm all done then. Yeah. We go home. <laughs> wow. Go have a beer. Yeah. Enjoy all your beer and food rations for the day. <laughs> food rations. <laughs> I'll get greedy though. Get your food rations. You Eat it all today. You won't have any tomorrow. Yeah, you got a raise last year, Dad. I don't know if you get one this year. I don't know if it's in the budget. Joe wants to get a ladle, so. Oh, it's either no. get a ladle or increase your food rations. Oh. Probably going to go with a ladle. Let's see what Corporal will go for. Thank you, sir. I may have another. No. We had Max come here and party and do uh, some chocolate work for you. <laughs> All right, so what Dad's talking about, we had, uh, uh, well, maybe I should talk about with Kara. <laughs> so Kara and I had a New Year's party, and we had, uh, you had like peanut butter balls, we had chocolate cover, and we hadn't done them yet. And then Max came over, mm -hmm. and you started doing that with like a fork, and you were like kind of chocolate cover, and I was like, well. No, before I even started, I said, hey, Max, do you want to help yeah, chocolate cover these? Yeah, and he said, yeah. All right. And then we're like, hey, you want to just put on a glove? We and made the balls. Yeah. Like, we were forming them, and then he, he would chocolate cover them because yeah. he's a pro. We were just like, well, you know, it'd probably be faster if you did it. He's like, yeah, probably. And I even had gloves. But then we played Star Wars Battlefront, so it wasn't all work. Yeah, and I watched. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But from you watched, like, you mean. The, from the kitchen. Yeah. Yep. A couple totally. rooms away. Yep. You were making food. It's just like the same thing as watching. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, well, good work. I do what I can. Proud of you, Kara. I'm proud of you. Wow, thanks. What are you doing? Oh, did you tattle? No, I've been here the whole time. Uh, how did how did you know? It was supposed to be on the shelf. I thought I could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you. For that, kids. For that meddling cameraman. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so when was the fr first time that you guys uh, put the chips on the old and rover? When? Yeah. Right now. <laughs> this is the first time? Oh, that's weird. Oh, first time ever. Oh. Never mind. Don't look at these. <laughs> those, those were done by hand. Yeah. Yeah, well, because uh, we used to try it on, on the small one, and it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't cover them. Just, uh, didn't have a very good bottom on it to, to cover the bottoms of them, and then the tops were covered. But I tried it like three different times, and one worked. So finally, I tried it on this one, and it has a big bottom. When I'm talking bottom, that's what this is all the big funnel. Yeah. The funnel is nice and big for building ships. 
So this one doesn't, the small one didn't have that. So this works, it works out great. So for the people at home, if they're thinking about getting the rover for their house, yeah. if they're planning on doing chips, maybe get a, a wider belt and rover. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, or just drill by hand like we do. Oh, we yeah. couldn't. We couldn't keep up by hand anymore. So yeah. We just. I mean, it's nice to have to make that many, but we just couldn't do it by hand anymore. Mm -hmm. And we work twelve hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> As it is. Can't do it. Yeah. So. Uh, Time to start working 17 again. Yeah. <laughs> so, this works, this helps out a lot having this in the yeah. So, this also explains uh, Chip uh, Chip Boy's new promotion, huh? Whose promotion? Brad, Chip Guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be doing something else. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work before corporate finds out. Okay. And yells at you. Yeah. I don't want you getting trouble, too. You just want to get out. Don't tell my mom. He's gonna go tell my mom. I'm sure he just left. And then she's gonna tell corporate. Oh man, dude, you better enjoy this because this is your last day here. I'm probably gonna get a full desagulation oh, at the end of the day. I get defenestrated even. Yeah. Well, well, luckily this is not a very tall building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but did you see how big the windows are? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'd be pretty cool though, if they threw you through, through the front one, we could get the paint replaced, and then Kara yeah. could like paint your picture on it. Mm -hmm. Just like the outline of a body, like a crime <laughs> scene. <laughs> oh, man. <dude. laughs> I wonder how long we can keep something like that up before people are like, uh, put that painting on your window. <laughs> Maybe we could do that for Halloween. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll just or plan, like the we'll, witch flew into it or something. We'll plan something for real to happen around Halloween. And then like Creed will just be like, well, that is really, really good timing. <laughs> oh, we can say that. All right. I never thought about it, but like, Creed did a bloody shirt. You know, I was like, yeah. oh, it's lucky that like he wasn't in like a duck costume or something. He's in a bloody shirt. Why did he go to work? <laughs> why, why did he go at all? He's Creed. Yeah. He's a quality issuance. He is in charge of quality issuance. No, but I'm getting close. <laughs> he said the first couple times that you guys did this, you guys didn't have the blower running, so just the first time, um, it was just it was just too high up. The blower was like, see, we can um, tighten or loosen those uh, bolts. <laughs> <laughs> things. Like, uh, come on, Bray. Um you know, to lower or heighten the, uh, the lower there. Um, we can also just turn up the intensity, but, um, you know, we just had it, we usually keep everything at about the same uh, setting, you know, because mm -hmm. um, we can change all the mechanical settings right in here through our menu. So we don't usually move too much stuff. Um, but once we figured that out, like that was the secret to doing the chips on here. So mm -hmm. now, you know, you can see the ridges and stuff, like it looks like, these look just like chips that like I just ran through my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Our first couple, they're a little thicker, but uh, just means more chocolate. I, yeah. I took a bag home that I meant to give away as a Christmas gift and ended up eating myself. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not even a big fan of chocolate. I thought they still tasted normal. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah mm -hmm. Usually you're gonna have happy customers if you get extra chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This isn't really the place where we have to worry about that. So. Yeah. Oh man, what an awful mistake. I'm gonna need my money back. <laughs> I'm gonna need another six bags of these. <laughs> yeah, well, luckily, chips go really quick. So if yeah. you were concerned with that, those are all long gone. Yeah, somebody already ordered them. Yeah. There's a reason we're doing eight more bags today. Yeah. And how much faster is this you think than doing it by hand? Um, so I've been timing myself with these ones. Um, so that's like six bags and it's 2.30. So six bags in two hours, about 20 minutes bag. Yeah. Where before it would take like an hour and a half a bag. Oh, wow. So uh, somebody quick math that for us in the comments. That is it's, faster. It's roughly. at least 1% faster. At least. Maybe even more. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I said. All right. Yeah, that's a hard maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's pretty great. Um, you know, every time you run them, I tell your dad that like it's it's my favorite of his ideas. Yeah. Like this is definitely our best idea, 2019. Yeah, yeah, and it's great that things are only getting more efficient because now we have these are getting done a lot faster. Peanut butter cups are getting done a lot faster mm -hmm. um, compared to how the turtles used to be done. Which I'm you were here when the turtles used oh, to be done with a spoon, yeah. right? Oh man, I forgot about that. I did that one time. Yeah. Straight thugging over here. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> Yeah, we're hard. Bro. Yeah, I remember uh, Kara and I were listening That's to true. our friend's Eminem CD at home, and our mom came up and was like, "Turn that off! You can't listen to that." Because we were in like, I don't know, fourth or fifth grade, yeah. I think fourth grade or yeah. something like that. And we we're like, "Okay," and then we went over to our friend's house and started listening to it. And she would, like once we left, like immediately after she told us to stop, we immediately left for our friend's house, which was right next door. And then she came over, I was and we were still again. listening to it. Yeah. And we're like, oh, how'd you know? Because <laughs> as a kid, you do very obvious things all yeah. the time, and you do realize. Okay, if we just leave, they'll have no idea. I'm actually surprised that, like, okay, so I'm sure a lot of our viewers by now have heard about the the story about how, all right, a lot of them probably haven't, so I'll give a brief, a brief recap. Uh, my friend Andres and I had a brilliant idea where uh, he would ride a bicycle, and attached to the bicycle with a bungee cord was something called a flying turtle, which is basically like a scooter you sit on with like your on your butt. And uh, so we had that attached to the back of his bike, and then he was like basically just biking around. And my mom came out and was telling me that was a really bad idea and um, yelling at me and well, stuff. Then you asked your dad at first, right? And yeah, and then he was, he like, was like, "Oh, you should uh, do it." I don't know. And then, uh, like, okay, we can do it then. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so then Andres very quickly just unhooked it and then just like zoomed home. <laughs> and, then, and then I had to deal with the wrath of my mom. And then I just went over to Andres' house and we did the same thing, but she didn't think that I did that <laughs> until I told her years later. Hey, you told her about the watermelon, I think. I yeah, get a free pass the on watermelon this. incident yeah. of 2017. We won't, we won't bring that up. That's yeah. a little too tragic. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta, I gotta try and fix the white part on this belt. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but uh, the white is kind of the drivetrain on this set. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the wheels push down on that, and that moves everything. Mm -hmm. um, but it's held together with like two tension rods, so it's impossible to get it in just the right spot. So, like, as you're working, it always pulls over to one side or the other, and then, like, I gotta stop, but, like, that's not a whole half tray. And yeah. Like, man, what do I do? see everything today. Yeah. So how do you fix that? Um, loosen up the tensioners. Pull this up so I can see. about where we want it, straight, straight under both of the wheels. Okay. Oh, I did it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty complex stuff. Yeah. Yeah, hit yeah, this, this thing, hard. move this thing. <laughs> Jiggle that. <laughs> what did you just say that? Nothing. Back in business? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Back to it. These are big pieces. Uh, I'm really looking at these ones like, do I run these ones too? Or they're kind of quarter size, so I've been doing this bag for a while, so I'm going to the next one. So then you just uh, pour this in like the, the small bag and then you'll use it for bark? Yep. Wow. Yep. Or for like um, stack clubs or. 
whatever we call the ones that don't have potato on them. Yeah. Just little potato chip stuff. Yep. Big, satisfying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're biting into a really big chip and just somehow just like more satisfying. You it's know? pretty great. You get like that bowl crunch, you know? Yeah. I think that's why people like the double ones. Yeah, yeah, the double, like the folded over ones. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty cool. Super crunch. Yeah. Isn't it kind of weird that humans are like... Like we just have like these like... I don't know, queer nations or something? Or, or I'm not sure what to call it, but like... They're just like innate things that everyone's yeah. like, yes, yeah. I love that too. And if we need to like, yeah, it's like just an experience of life or something, right? Yeah. I guess it makes sense, but it just seems weird. But we're like, yeah, I love to eat something that's crunchy on my teeth, you know? It's like, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. I've been having some great bags though, man. Yeah. Gotta, the next time you see your mom, you gotta pass on the compliments. Nice chip placement, man. Yeah, I've been working on it all day. Really proud of you. Thanks. I uh, read that link that you sent me. Yeah, yeah. The article. It helped a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oxford, uh, Oxford's archives. Yep. Yeah, they did a study on um, chocolate chip potato chip running through our growers. And uh, basically, the uh, the consensus was uh, they taste great. <laughs> I believe that. I gotta tell you. <laughs> I'm buying into that one. Yeah. I think a lot of the customers are too. Luckily, they kept the experience for them. Yeah. 100% consensus. So I just looked at it, but uh, hmm. when you start to get like the little, the little tiny gaps, that usually means that um, the curtain's starting to break on one side or the other. Okay. And that usually means that the chocolate is getting kind of low. Yeah, the curtain will start to break when the chocolate gets too low. So you, I don't know it's if you can tell on camera, but you, you'll be able to see like right in there that's the chocolate level. Although I guess they don't know what high or low yeah. means. Yeah. Well, that's probably if it's sixty. 60-ish pounds of uh, melted chocolate, so it was pretty neat. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I, buy, I bothered you enough. I'll go see what my dad's up to. I don't know. I'm not even annoying you. Right? Alright, well, I'll stick around a little while. Right? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. That's not, I was just saying. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I can. <laughs> Get any dirt on them? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, you're not a very good spy, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting to watch. <laughs> it's just in case, you know, something happens. In case a car comes through the building. Car comes through the building, Terry falls through a wall. A fire starts from the fireplace. Yeah, that <laughs> fireplace, I gotta, wow, I better turn that off. Yeah, turn it down. It looks a little high. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the last thing I gotta take down. I took down a bunch of the Christmas stuff, and now it just looks very blank and boring now. Very boring now. Yeah. There's no more snowflakes and bulbs hanging from the ceiling and garlands. You know. <laughs> you gotta find some summer garlands. Summer garlands. Yeah. Remember, you used to make chains. You make a uh, yeah paper Valentine's jeans. chain. Yeah. <laughs> just red. Yeah. <laughs> And pink and white, I guess. Maybe purple. Yeah. Yeah. Not a go with Max. Good. Yeah. He's doing good and stuff. All right. You'd be very proud of him. Good and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Max said you did a good job with. Uh, oh, now, now you hear me. Now you're not hiding when he said you did a good job, huh? Yeah. Uh, he said you did did a good job. I can't talk. Everybody likes this little Did a good job with picking. 
Ruffles potato chip bags because they have a lot of big chips in them. That's what I go for. Yeah. And I feel like they watch me on security cameras and they're like, oh, come on, guys. She's here again. Watch this. <laughs> the chip lady's Sometimes bag. Sometimes I take my coat off. Yeah. It's a little narrow, mm -hmm. you know, and I need the movement and... Sometimes the ones on the front of the rack aren't good enough, so I pull the rack out and I go to the back. And mm -hmm. the back. They probably hate me. Mm -hmm. You bring a step ladder too? I don't need it. Mm -hmm. I just did enough. You know. oh. I'm tall enough. I mean, I don't go up. They have some up in the. They call it up in the steel. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone up there. Do you think I should? You can climb up there. Good idea. You're pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. And the walls are made out of cement, so I probably won't go through a wall. Probably not. Only one way to find out. That's true. Don't put it past me. And you just made this puddle, huh? Yeah. And cold in like, what, two minutes? Yeah, it's good, huh? Wow. Uh, how'd you do it, Dad? Magic. Tell me your secrets. I can't. I swear I won't tell anyone except for uh, the people on YouTube. Then everybody's gonna do it. No, it's just the people on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just melt it down, and then when you're ready to use it, Make sure it's 85 degrees or less. For this particular chocolate. For this particular chocolate, the vegan chocolate, which is, it's a Belgium chocolate. It's, um. By Calibo? Yeah, by Calibo, yeah. What, uh, what, do you know what the percentage is for this <coughs> chocolate? No, uh, I forget. It's up there on the shelf. Oh, no, it's on the shelf. Is it like on the package for the Calibo? It says RH Max 70%. I don't know if that's, that's RH. Uh, 54.5? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a percentage on the package somewhere. Yep. I think that's it. And what's milk then? It's gotta be pretty low. Well, no, there isn't. It's soy. Really? I think it's soy. Or coconut. Coconut instead of. No, mom. I don't know the percentages. That's, that's why. What, so what's the percentage for dark chocolate? Really of of what? Mat? Like, the, well, people always talk about percentages for Cocoa uh, dark butter? chocolate. Maybe that's it? That's what they're like always the, talking about. The higher about. percentage, the more bitter it yeah, is? Yeah, they think the the higher cocoa butter, the butter, but it's really not. I mean, it's just, they just try to make it sound more fancy. And just out here spitting facts. You know. Like this doesn't have any milk in it. That's why it's it's that it's a, their chocolate. That's just the way they make it. It's not they don't make it vegan, but it is vegan. So they accidentally did. Yeah. yeah, it's good chocolate. Yeah. So what uh, temperature can you pour the normal dark chocolate at from Peter's? Uh, that has to be poured at like 82. Well, about the same. And this has to be poured 85 or less. Mm -hmm. See how they're drying already? Yeah. 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 yeah, you can see these front ones. Yeah, it just get them. Quite so. a bit shinier than like this first one over here. Well, we're trying to still, we're trying to get them. They don't. They don't um, sell milk chocolate here in the, in the states for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. no. That vegan milk chocolate, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That vegan milk chocolate. Hey, you can get it in Europe. Yeah, I don't know why they don't. It's for some reason I don't know why it's not sold here. Hmm. One day. Because it's good. I'm sure the milk is good too. Because this is very good. Yeah. Yeah, the Vagel bar that you tried, you really, you said you really like that. The what bar? Vagel bar. That was the one that Chris brought over. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Yep. They're just becoming available now. Although, they're already made by that company. So, it's yeah. not like buying, it's, it's not like something you can buy in bulk. You yeah. Use yourself. So by picking it up like that, you just let the air touch it and cool it down more. 
Yep, that's all. It's just all. I had to warm up the kettle. It was getting too cold, and then now, now I should take it and pull it out of the water a little bit. Do you want to, yeah, explain to so people what you do to heat it up and pull it out of the kettle? I just use hot water, and once it's all melted back down again, after after I throw the puddle back in, and it's chunky. And then once the chunks are all melted, I pull it back out of the water. So then I don't want it to get too hot, and then it'll, cause if it gets too hot, then it'll take too long on the table. Yeah. yeah, this is filled up with a bunch of water. Oh, that's actually a very hot kettle at the bottom. Like, yeah, it was. I probably wouldn't be able to test that for very long. Yeah, it was. Just hot water from the sink, though. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, once it's all melted, and then I pull it right out. You don't want the chocolate itself to get too, right. too hot, because actually it's only 91. That's good. Okay. 91 in there. And I pour it out when I want it to be out. Oh, it's 84 here now. That's mm -hmm. ready to go. Nice. And these are uh, vegan uh, marshmallows. They're company called Dandies. Dan dandies? They're pretty dandy. They're pretty dandy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and the, the vegan chocolate's great for someone who is also just like lactose intolerant. Yeah. Or something too, you know? Yep. And also, if you just like dark chocolate, yeah, <laughs> like you wouldn't really be able to tell that there's no dairy in it. It's just it tastes like dark chocolate. It's just good chocolate. Although I feel like this is this kind of dark chocolate, since it's not a very it's not a very bitter dark chocolate. So even if you like milk chocolate, you might still like this. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I think it's really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Definitely. Maybe a little biased, but I think this is the best vegan dark chocolate I've ever had. This is the only one I've ever had, actually. Oh, yeah? for I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, even at the candy show, uh, well, the next, I'll have to go to another one now. Yeah, and compare. see if uh, I can find anybody else that has any vegan chocolate or anything. Mm -hmm. Good. Couldn't get around. Couldn't go around and talk to everybody. Yeah. Everybody talks about all their stuff, and they're really nice people and everything. But sometimes you get stuck at a booth with somebody that talks a little too much, you know, and, <laughs> and then you can't get away. Mm hmm And then before you know, it, all your time is taken up, and then you can't go back till the next day, and then it's the whole <laughs> thing, huh? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just like, uh oh. Well, darn, better go again. <laughs> wow. Good work, Dad. Thanks. Proud of you. Keep your stick on the ice. Remember, we all stick together. If you don't find your handsome, you should find your handy. <laughs> <laughs>